welcome back to my channel so for today I want to share with you guys how I clean my dirty brushes using these three products right here that I got from Sigma Beauty so if you guys are interested in finding out how I do that then please keep on watching alright so here are all my dirty brushes there are some more but these are the ones that I really need to get clean so I can use it for tomorrow alright so first let's go ahead and assemble this brush holder and I apologize if I'm not speaking loud enough Justin is sleeping and I really just don't want to wake him up so here is the brush holder so let's go ahead and get it out of the box together and again this is supposed to help shape and dry your brushes so here is what comes in the box and let's pull them out Alright, so in here there should be three parts. There's the part A, B, and C. And then you also should have two of these little connectors. I'm not even sure what to call these, but it's just like a connector. Alright, so here is the little card that came with the box itself. So they came in three sides or three sets. So the first one right here is for just the eyes brushes and this is supposed to hold 48 brushes. And then this one is for the face and the eyes and it's supposed to hold 44 brushes. And then we've got the biggest one that's supposed to hold 68 brushes. So mine is in the middle. Alright, so let's assemble this. So this is the A part and this size right here is supposed to stay up. And then you connect one of these connectors. It has this little um, side thingy. I'm not sure what to call this. But it has the like a little compartment right here that's supposed to just fit perfectly in these two holes. And once it fits, you just twist it to secure it in place. And that should just not coming off like that so it doesn't come out so that's that and then go ahead and put the size B up so make sure this part is up and we'll just do the same thing we'll place it on and then we'll twist it just like that and then do the same thing with the new connector and then last but not least is the part C voila we got our brush holder so so here is what the brush holder looks like once you're done assemble it. So the top part is supposed to hold all your eyeshadow brushes and the bottom part is supposed to hold your um, foundation and the bigger like face brushes. So yeah, so that is that. Alright, so I got two sets of water. This one is to clean and to wet the brush and to cleanse it and then this one is to rinse it that way we can make sure that the brush is nice and clean and the next product that we actually will be using in this cleansing is this one right here this is a brand new product that Sigma just sent to me this is their palm um, mat or it's supposed to be a palm like palm mat so you're supposed to hook this to your palm and you can use this to clean your brush and I actually got three of these so so these are the other two colors that they sent me. That's one green and one blue. And I will be giving away these two later on at the end of the video. So if you guys want to stick around and find out how you can enter to win this two palm mat, then please watch this video till the end. Alright, so obviously I love the purple pinkish color. We're going to use this one right here. Very easy to open. Here's what it looks like. So this palm mat has two sides and they have different texture in both sides. This one right here is good for like a bigger brushes and this one right here is good for like a smaller eyeshadow brushes. Same thing with this size right here. So it should just come out like that. Let me try to get it through this thing right here. Maybe I should cut it. Yeah, I'm gonna rip it so I don't mess up the palm mat. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it back. Just 
just like that and then should be able to fit just like that all right so here is what it looks like on my hand pretty funny but it's pretty cool at the same time so if you don't want to do it on your palm there's like a little suction on the back so you can definitely suck this to your sink so if you're washing your brushes at the sink which you should by the way I'm not doing it on your vanity to get it dirty but my sink's kind of messy so that is why we're doing this on my white vanity desk. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and try to clean this first brush right here. This is from Tarte Cosmetic and it is one of my favorite foundation brush and it looks pretty dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this brush. Just swirl it a few times and it's nice and wet. And now I'm using the Sigma foam brush cleanser and pump a few pumps of that directly to the cleansing mat or palm mat just like that and then I'm going to just swirl this brush in the foam oops I made a mess already and as you can see the color start to come out and this is going to be the messiest brush ever because it is a foundation brush so there's a lot of products built up in there a lot of colors looks like it's come off right away and I didn't really have to try very hard so I think all the colors are out now so let's go ahead and rinse it and see what happened ooh, ooh, ooh. whoa look at that guys nice and clean yay And then I'm going to just squeeze this brush a little bit more so the water is out. And I'm going to go ahead and dip it in the cleaner water. That way we know that this is clean and the brush is nice and clean. And I'm squeezing out all the extra water in the brush just like so. And... One thing that you want to keep your eyes out is do not fully submerge your brush and make sure that this part right here stay above the water. That way the water does not get inside the brush head itself and you know undo all the glue. So just keep the brush on the top of the water like that and just squeeze out any excess water like I did. And let's go ahead and put it in our brush holder. So here's my brush holder. Like I said earlier, the bottom part is for like a bigger brush or foundation brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and push my brush from the bottom like this and then just pull it upward. I'm going to place it down. And this is brand new product. So the band around here is a little bit tight. So I'm just going to really have to push it up. Just like that. Oops, I guess it's going this one right here. Right. Just like that. Now the brush stay in there and it stay in shape and it's going to dry overnight. So let's go ahead and set this aside and we'll go ahead and keep on cleaning our brushes. Let's do a tapered blending brush. This is my favorite tapered blending brush. Again from Sigma, I can see, um, you guys probably see that I love Sigma brushes. I have a lot of Sigma brushes, so yeah. So we'll go ahead and wet the brush. Pump one pump of this again and swirl this on. This have white pigments in here because I did use it all the time. So there's a lot of colors in there. And the color just comes right off, which is great. That's how, that's what you want to see, right? When you cleanse it. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel very satisfied every time I see a clean brush like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this aside and swirl my brush in the dirty water. <laughs> Squeeze it and swirl it again in the clean water. And squeeze nice and clean 
right, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my brush holder. So since this is a smaller brush, it's supposed to sit on the top tier. So I'm just going to go ahead and push this down like so and it just sit perfectly like that. And it's supposed to dry overnight. And the other thing that I really like how this brush holder is being made is that your brush head is facing down. That way the water just flow downward instead of flowing back up to, you know, to this part right here where the glue is. So this way your brush stay nice and good for a very long time and the glue will not come undone in this cleansing process. So I really like how it is. So this is what it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward and clean all my brushes and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end when I'm done cleaning all my brushes.